That is pink on today's Cool 105.5 with the Mo and Sally Morning Show. It's a frigid Friday, fun day, 827, and we're about to try something new. Yes. Um, live animals on the show this morning. Well, we've had live animals on the show before. Yeah, uh, not this kind of animal. <laughs> no. I, I'm not we've sure. We've never was, done this before. Uh, no. this. Uh, we have a special guest, Alex from SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. Hey, Alex. Good morning. And he's going to tell you a great deal here in a few minutes yeah. about, uh, for Florida residents, uh, yes. a great deal at the parks. But. We brought a porcupine in. It is a prehensile porcupine. And it's funny you say that it's the first time you've done this. Something we are known for is to bring our interactions to people. Because when you think of these interactions, it actually, when you go home, we want people to say, you know what, I learned about this animal, but what can I do to protect a species oh. from my house? Nobody thinks of that. So that's great that you guys are are having an opportunity to do this this morning. Well, we are big animal lovers on That's this awesome. show. Yeah, and but seriously, a porcupine? <laughs> and this this I mean. is a prehensile porcupine, and he's one of our ambassadors. So think of a porcupine. But this one lives in the jungles of South America, and super high in the trees are considered arboreal. So think of this thing up 300 feet up in the sky. Really? They're not on the ground. And so most of their food, like you see right now, he's got oh. a little bit of melon. You have some sweet potato you're going to give him in a minute. Okay. So essentially, they're walking around the jungles looking for just fruit now. Now, a little bit of a myth about porcupines and their quills. What do you think their defense is? To stick their quills up? Right. The first thing they'll do is they do this dance. Now remember, just about every animal out there, they just want to go about their business. They don't yeah. really want to bother anybody. But if they feel threatened, what they'll do is they'll do this little dance, put their quills up, and that essentially says, hey, leave me alone. I just want to cross. I don't want to be bothered. Right. If they feel that they need to be, uh, they have to defend themselves, then most people think they actually shoot their quills. They don't. What they'll do is they'll run around and just run backwards, kind of get you, and then they and they're on their way. And they're on their way. So they, they don't just, like they shoot just, them out. No, they okay. don't shoot them out. That's a huge myth about porcupines. And it's, now Sally is actually petting. Yeah, you can pet him again. This is one of our ambassadors. So th this little guy was born in our care. You know, he loves people. Um, these aren't considered an endangered species, but they are different. He's just sneezing. You're fine. <laughs> but there are different species that are. So for us, it's a great okay. message that, you know, when you go to bushgardens.com or seaworld.com, you can go on there. We have specials, but we, you can also click on those links and you can do things for the species that are endangered, you know, like recycling. Remember, they live in trees. So yeah. what do we use every single day that involves trees? Paper. Furniture, paper. paper. So we encourage people that if you're going to buy paper products, buy them from recycled sources. Listen, you're talking to the recycling Nazi at the radio <laughs> That's station. Great. Now, I've called out my boss. My <laughs> boss, when he threw a plastic water bottle in the trash can, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. And so <laughs> next time you tell them, say, every time you save that piece of paper in that bin, it's helping a species like this survive so it's awesome for us we're gonna have video and photos of this porcupine on our website soon it's i've never seen an animal like this it's He's amazing mo you have to you have to you have to pat it but you have to pat it in one direction you have to, it's don't one go way, back in the other direction way. or okay. you'll regret yeah, yeah. it oh yeah 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 so now, now, now alex before I think you guys curtis wants to see you get pricked uh, I, of course he does no, no, a little no, bit no. Oh, a little bit but, these okay. guys are uh, remember they, they don't want to do no, that they, they don't want to go about their business okay in the wild. I, if anyone can screw this up it's me <laughs> no you're uh, fine. Fine. you can do it one I, direction and you're gonna go one way oh my gosh <laughs> no no no, no. It, i'm so it's nervous just a you can do it honey yeah i'm just so nervous you can do it oh you jeez you're fine he just has an itch he, oh my gosh and, and remember, you're but you're learning about what's you're, going on he just has an itch you let him scratch himself yeah, give him give him some food first go. all right uh, okay i'm feeding him oh look. jesus <laughs> Okay, this is. You I, I told you're fine. You're fine. Try flat hand. Did you see me compared to Mo? Yeah, with he's such a wimp. But you know, it's okay. We all have to learn. It's it's part of the process. There you Look go. Look how cute it is. He grabs it with fine, his little hands, fine. a little food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I I'm so nervous. I, you, I just want to pet him. I want to do it right. But do I'm, it right. Just go to the back one. There you go. He's see, just scratching. Every time I get near him, he's like shaking he's, those quills. And I'm afraid I'm going to... No, 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 you're fine. All right, well, you're while, fine. while Mo gathers up the right. nerve to pat this animal... Hey, look, there's a quill on the floor. <laughs> you can have it in souvenir. There's a quill down there's there. There's a special going on there, right now. We Let's... do have an awesome special right now, $99. Okay. For that $99, you can pick 
two out of our four parks either in Orlando or Tampa. Okay. And right now, spring break's coming up. Yes. What a great way to take the kids to either park, any one of those. And you not there's no blackout dates, okay. which is huge. And if you want to use one now, yeah. you have until May 22nd okay. to use the other ticket. That's great. A, a awesome deal, in my opinion. <coughs> <coughs> you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Sorry my husband is such a whip. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great deal. It is. It is. And, and Florida residents. This is for yes, Florida residents. Yes. So you can go to bushgardens.com or seaworld.com, get more information about our tickets, learn a little bit about our ambassadors, and really also learn about what you can do to help some of these species from home. I'm bleeding. Just for the record, I'm bleeding. Are you really? No. I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a little bit. Yeah. Oh, come no, on. No, no, you're fine. You're yeah. fine. He is such a whale. <laughs> thank you guys for coming. And thank you. I apologize for my husband. <laughs> I'm just nervous. Very nervous. I'm not bleeding, really. No, you're not. Uh, you're well, fine. Thank you guys for coming by. That is a beautiful, beautiful creature. Thank it really you, is. We're really going to have is. some video up soon. So mm -hmm. thank you, Alex, for bringing the animals by this morning. Uh, we appreciate that. 8.32 now.